in this i flow we are going to see some of the uh, one of the scenario how it is designed so sender is sap and the starter is cig and sender sends sends any i doc so this i flow captures that i doc and uh, establish a connection with the cig based on the type of i doc okay let us see the uh, the mapping object here the mapping object is uh, <coughs> um, XSLT mapping they used it let me open the code for it okay so the mapping objects uh, uh, code is like this okay so they said that they have one variable name exchange okay and uh, output method xml okay omit xml declaration yes okay so the output content have you don't have any uh, uh, the tag like line like this okay and uh, they're copying the content whatever they're getting and the, the now they're again uh, looking for the template match root node and finding where um, the root node contain, contains this uh, uh, node this value if this value they would like to assign this value app i doc to this variable doc type okay so this is the logic finally doc type is getting some value and a variable has some value doc type has some value if no such uh, idoc spawned finally it is uh, assigned some idoc okay okay so doc type uh, has some value and this is the same logic whatever we seen in before right the same logic just copy the cont whatever the payload we are getting from the source and uh, it simply transfer the target but here the, the intention of the, the intention of writing this code is uh, to get the uh, to prepare a variable that variable so that they want to assign this save this variable in the set header in the where as in the as in the content modifier we have a header right they will they would like to set some value um, the, the variable name is i doc uh, name is doc type right okay so they name, gave a name as like a, so this is the syntax for uh, in XSLT, how do we set a value and also get also you can use the same text so the same naming convention you can use here and for idoc type name the value for that idoc type app we just know we prepared right that value either uh, all these, these values or it's idoc okay so corresponding value will be assigned we are saving that variable value in the header section nothing the main intention of this uh, XSLT mapping is to prepare a header, whether it is some IDA, what type of IDA it is, and if it is not a belongs to a specific IDA, IDA it will by default it is the IDA. So the next is uh, script, right? Let us see how exactly script doing. So uh, this is a we know, right? Uh, so here this is a standard uh, uh, Groovy script. You are supposed to use it if you want to access any thing from the value mapping. So in the in this is for value mapping right so here uh, id api factory get api value mapping here now we are accessing doc type doc type is a variable see map dot get so map dot get uh, map dot get headers right like this we are uh, preparing i doc type and uh, checking app i docs then uh, we are preparing uh, HCA solutions, uh, apps, HCA address, okay, and also, uh, okay, let me stop. Yeah, till now we have seen uh, this code as well as script code, right? So in this IDOC, when I write this IDOC, so we are we are uh, uh, finding the value for CAG address. CAG address is a this is a one variable we created right so how do we get the some value for this variable so if you pass few parameters uh, the syntax for the uh, getting the values to values from the value mapping is uh, you know right uh, uh, let us let me open yeah so if you provide the agency source agency name and uh, uh, identifier and uh, target agency and value this value let us see the, the same thing here. Here, uh, HCI solutions apps. HCI solutions uh, 
yeah but we are coming here in the uh, connection page right uh, so that we can get the connection so if it is connection yeah connection connection corresponding uh, value will be saved here so okay so we are assigning uh, uh, this value address and credential to the one few more variables ecc url and credential name and let us see what is ecc url and uh, credential name these are also strings so this value will be uh, set to the uh, receiver uh, communication channel let us see the receiver so request from okay so if you see uh, credential name ecc url so by using header parameters we are setting some value for the target so like this uh, this scenario has been designed the main intention of main intention of preparing this video is how exactly accessibility mapping is uh, uh, used and uh, setting a, so it, based on the payload we are setting a, preparing a header variable and giving this value to the script and script uh, um, uses uh, this value in the uh, to fetch the value mapping details based on that one we are finding right right connection and based on that connection information we are establishing dynamically choosing what type of connection you need to establish with the cag so thanks for watching this video we'll see few more videos next videos